What's up people, this is a video response to CDN Gamer or Canadian Gamers 1000 subscriber contest. Uh, he does videos of games, also Magic the Gathering cards and stuff, hockey cards and Kinder Egg opening. So lots of variety. I like that actually. He apologized for not doing more video game stuff. No need to apologize to me. I think variety is cool. You know, I watch stuff about Louis Vuitton and I don't even own anything Louis Vuitton because there are some people who do that stuff that I like, you know? So it's been neat meeting people on YouTube. So anyway, one of the prizes he's giving away <coughs> um, in his contest, it's all one prize, but one of the components of said prize is a PSP version of this game, Pixel Junk Monsters, which is one of my favorites. I've talked about it so many times. Uh, but he said he'd never played it before. So I thought I would uh, show a little gameplay. So. One of the cool things about this game is, after you beat it, you get a new, a new island and you can, uh, <laughs> you can sort of put in letters and numbers and it makes your own, um, I can't talk and do this at the same time, sorry. Kind of, not personalized, but it, it sort of randomly generates a level. It's not completely random in that there's, like, the layout won't change, but you'll see. But it does change, like, how the enemies come and things like that. So, you can't see it really well right now, but there are two islands. One here, one here, and there's one in the middle behind this, this sort of wooden thing. If you have the PSP Deluxe version, I don't know which one it is that he's giving away. There's another island up here, that's why it's the best version. But anyway, here you go, here's the game, it's a tower defense game. One of my favorite games of all time. Let's just make sure we have focus. Alright, so I've got flying things coming, so I need to get some weapons in place to deal with them. And then after you get your weapons in place, you can dance on them like this. And uh, you see the pink bar, it raises up, and when the pink bar is full, the flag changes color and the weapon becomes stronger, more powerful, and increases the range, something. It gets better. As you kill enemies, uh, as you just saw, you get coins. And then with those coins, you can buy more weapons. Okay, so then on the bottom left of the screen, you can see the next two waves of enemies that are coming. So this is... I should have built that here so I have more time to dance. Another kind of enemy, they're not flying, so that machine gun on the lower left um, won't work. But the object of this game <coughs> is to protect these kind of babies from the monsters that are coming. That's why the game's called Monsters. And a lot of tower defense games, there's not like a character that runs around like this. It's just, uh, you know, building the structures and watching the waves come. And I like those too. But this is the first game, this was the game that introduced me to tower defense. And, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously I'm a big fan. So, yeah. Well, yeah, I love the fact that this game, after you beat it, you uh, get to make basically make your own levels because the possibilities are not actually endless, but pretty close. You know, when you're putting in a letter or a number and you've got five spaces to fill, pretty sweet. And then again, with a PSP version, if it's deluxe, I don't know, but the one he's giving away, but with the deluxe version, you get a lot more stuff. Uh, so I kept kind of hoping that they would add that update to the PlayStation 3 version, but they never did. So, I mean, if you're only going to have one copy of this game, I think the one to have is the PSP deluxe version. I'm actually sending a copy of this game to Mr. Norwegian Noob, because he sends me stuff sometimes. And I, I just love this game so much, I want people to try it. Not everyone's going to like it, obviously. I'm not into sort of real-time strategy type games at all. But there's something about this game that's relaxing. And uh, it's fun. I mean, you're strategizing, and you're thinking ahead, and you can drink a beer while you're playing it. But at the same time, I mean, there's some action going on here. And that's a good thing. might not be that much fun to watch, though. I can't tell if it's blurry or not. I guess it's not blurry.
But as you can see, I'm upgrading. The green is the boat's basic color, and then is yellow. Then comes yellow, and then red, then purple, and then black. So I'm trying to get this one up to purple. And then when you get enough jewels, you can uh, use those to upgrade the weapons, or you can unlock new weapons. Oh, just barely made it with that guy. Hold on. So you go in here, and you can use the jewels to unlock different weapons. I've got, let's see, how much money do I have? 308. So I can't really buy anything good. Maybe I'll unlock this one. Tesla Tower. It costs 10, and I have 10. There, I've unlocked it. So then I go up here, and I'll build it right there. Dance on this a bit more. Maybe I can get it up to purple. <clears throat> but in the, I mean, this is a pretty hard uh, level, actually, this one that I put in. And I like that. I mean, challenge, you know. And the game has casual, normal, and hardcore levels to play on as well. So, it's just, it's a lot of fun. I would say my second favorite tower defense game of all time is Kingdom Rush on iOS. I think it, maybe it's on the, you can play it on the computer, I'm not sure, but I play it on my iPad. Love that one as well. There's a lot to it, but I just keep coming back to this. I've been playing this game basically since it came out. Another cool thing about this game, which most people won't care about, uh, is that if you buy the Japanese version, you can still play uh, fully in English. So whenever uh, Japanese developers, or whenever games come out in Japan that allow you to play in English, I, I like to buy them because I want to support that philosophy. Uh, because it's a pain in the butt sometimes playing in English. Sometimes, I'm sorry, Japanese. Like uh, Hot Shots Golf, which is called Minano Golf in Japan. I like playing it in Japanese because the voices are actually less annoying. Because it's more natural for Japanese people to talk that the way they do and say the things they do. The American game and the PAL game are, uh, they take what the Japanese people say and they just directly translate it and it sounds kind of stupid. Uh, I still love the game, mind you, but uh, yeah, I mean it just makes more sense to play to me in Japanese. So anyway, I'm just kind of rambling here. I'm probably not going to play... Well, what I'll do is I will skip ahead to, to the end, or I don't know what I'll do, actually. I'm just kind of doing this. Anyway, this is how the game works. I can panic and do this, right? But I think one of those guys is going to get my baby, and that's going to suck. It's always painful. This is what happens. They get up there and, oh, bye-bye, baby. I'm sorry, I couldn't protect you. I tried. I tried. I'm sorry. So yeah, that's what happens. It kind of sucks. <laughs> you can't get them back. They're gone. And their spirits rise to heaven. So, yeah. I mean, that's that's it. That's monsters for you. Love this game. And again, it's not for everybody. Um, <laughs> what can I say? I love it. And uh, this is my video response because I didn't know what to, to do for a video response to the 1,000 subscriber contest. Congratulations, Canadian Gamer or CDN Gamer. And uh, may all your Kinder Eggs be filled with uh, things you want. <laughs> and definitely give this game a try. And if you don't like it, uh, send it to somebody else and let them give it a try. Because someone's going to fall in love with it eventually down the line. That's what I'm planning to do. Is uh, spread the love of Pixel Junk Monsters. Okay, that's all for me. Thanks a lot. And uh, bye bye